Hi people! In this video I am going to show you how to use the commands press pull and extrude to model 2D objects. Let's start! Extrude and press pull objects. Basically these two commands allow us to add a third dimension to 2D objects. With extrude we can convert objects either to a surface or to a solid. That depends of its nature. If we extrude lines, open polylines or splines, we add a dimension in the z-axis, converting them to a surface, as you can see. By the way, if we do the same process to a closed boundary object, like the examples I show you here, I activate extrude, and by adding a z-dimension, they are automatically converted to a solid. Ah, and there is also an option to extrude only the boundary here. I type EXT to activate extrude again, and before selecting anything, it says here, select objects to extrude, or mode. I type MO to choose mode, and the prompt asks me if I want to convert a closed profile in a surface or in a solid. I choose surface, I type the shortcut SU, press enter, then I select the objects, insert the height, and I realize that they convert to surfaces. I'm going to rotate the workspace so you can see this better. As you can see, this is a surface. If you don't like this visual style because of the grids, I can change it to this one. Command Press Pull. This tool has a similar use, but there are a few differences when comparing to Extrude. First, it only works for closed boundaries. I'm going to activate the command, and then, instead of clicking on the objects, I must click inside the area when it's highlighted. Second example. In this situation there are two intersected rectangles. If I use press pull here, I can extrude the closed boundary where my pointer is. Then I do the same at this side. And look how beautiful it is. Using the command extrude here, I convert to a solid the wall polyline that I select. If I have an object in script inside another, sometimes I have to wait a bit to highlight both objects. Now click if I want to extrude just this area. So it was everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cadding Black to get access to all the content of this channel. There are full tutorials, exercises, as well as tips and tricks. So let's meet in the next occasion.